Okay, next we're going to talk about California now requiring solar on almost all new homes. Um, and, and I'll go through kind of what this means. Now, uh, some, some pieces from the article here is that uh, we, we actually now will require it on almost all new homes. These are homes built after January 1st, 2020. Uh, and it's only for homes that are under three stories. The new policy applies to single family houses and multifamily units that are three stories or less. And there are some exceptions for homes that are too shady. So imagine if you're in an urban area or something like that with big buildings where you're not going to get much sun at all. You know, those kind of things make sense. Now, this is a part of Jerry Brown, uh, the current governor of California's plan to reduce carbon emissions by 40%. Now, the thing about that is uh, he is on his way out. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, you know, things in California don't aren't that uh, back and forth. But and, I, and I'm guessing we'll probably get someone similar to Jerry Brown that supports this policy. So uh, don't don't think it's going to change. But it is it is a question that, you know, he's on his way out and someone's new. They could maybe, um, you know, d make a change to this. So um, a quote here about it. Uh, this is massive, said Morton Lund, chair of an energy storage initiative at law firm Stoll Reeves LLP. Uh, essentially, this could turn residential solar into an appliance like a water heater. There's always been a certain inevitability about that outcome, but this is moving faster than most of us thought likely. So very, very interesting. And you can kind of see this chart here uh, about residential solar and what's going on with that. I mean, we're talking, you know, uh, 10,000 megawatts for 2017. And so there's still much more stuff going on. And now we're just going to see this number even, you know, just jump up um, after 2020 uh, or, you know, for any home that's built or I guess, I'm not sure if they have to like break ground on it before 2020 or if they have to like actually, you know, sell it after 2020, meaning, you know, they could build it, you know, the prior year or something like that. So we'll see more about that. Now, the question I had was, uh, will this really make a difference for Tesla? Because they do make solar panels out of their Buffalo facility uh, known as Gigafactory 2. Um, but they don't really make a ton of it yet. Uh, and there's some issues I understand with uh, with uh, their partner, Panasonic, who, who is the one that actually makes them. Um, and so really questionable whether or not this will have any impact on Tesla at all, uh, other than possibly batteries. Uh, I could see uh, storage growing uh, tremendously as well. So there you have it. Now, some other things about this is that uh, some of the companies here are, are you know, uh, Tesla shares, I'm not sure if they, if they really... Uh, you know, because this is more thought of as a power company. But if you look at some of these other ones, SunPower and Sunrun, uh, they just skyrocketed um, after this news. So you can see a pretty big change there, um, you know, because of this. And it makes a lot of sense. Uh, so one of the concerns that I should bring up, because, you know, there's two sides to every, every uh, decision like this, is that installing, and this is a quote from the article, installing a solar system and complying with other energy efficiency measures required will add about 95 hundred dollars to the cost of a new home according to the california energy commission that would be offset by about nineteen thousand dollars in expected energy and maintenance savings over 30 years the commission estimates so in the end it's the right thing right you're going to save money here you're going to save a uh, hundred percent more than you will spend however you are making housing more expensive so that kind of sucks right like that's that's a tough a tough pill to swallow for a lot of people now um, the the state adds about eight hundred thousand, I'm sorry, eighty thousand new homes a year, and the California Solar and Storage Association estimates that about a, about about fifteen thousand include solar. So the Energy Commission says that the average home system uses two point five kilowatts to four kilowatts of panels. So the additional sixty five thousand new systems would add as much as two hundred and sixty megawatts of annual demand in the state, and they're saying that's about the size of one large solar farm. Really, really interesting stuff. Now, again, as I mentioned, if you're interested, I just interviewed Brian Bursick, the founder and CEO of Wonder Capital, who helps commercial companies uh, go solar. So you can go check that video out from um, from last Friday, because I think uh, it's really insightful, just kind of someone in the industry that really knows this stuff, uh, talking about how it works and kind of what the future holds with it. So there you have it.